Hey everyone, so it's getting really late in the day and I haven't filmed Palette Tober Day 18 yet, but I have it with me and oh, I was going to use a high end, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to use a sort of in between. Basically, I got these in TK Maxx, they're exactly the same palette and the reason I've got two is because I used all of the, uh, all of the colour. Wait, they're completely... That's really weird. All the, oh, it's because I've used it so much. I can tell which one is the older one. Basically, rather than talk about it, these are palettes from the Kardashians Beauty range, Chroma Beauty. They were originally about 20 quid each, but I got them for 3 99 in TK Maxx. This one I have used and have actually used up all this colour here, more or less, nearly. Basically nearly finished it. Um, I loved the colours of this, all rosy, very warm toned and it, you know, they're, they're quite, they're very powdery but they are very good shadows, I quite like them. But it also has in the bottom here um, a highlight, uh, sort of two blushes and a highlight in the middle, I'll just show you this highlight, look at that. Um, so quite impressive. Um, oh, I always do this, I sort of swatch things and forget I'm swatching them. Um, and it is beautiful, but the thing is, I do love that colour and I wanted to use that colour in this tutorial. It's like a rose gold, a really, I mean in here because it's the new one, it's this colour here. It's like a taupey rose gold and it is just stunning. And then there's this also this cranberry colour um, and also this gorgeous gold and this dark one at the end. I think this is just stunning. I love this palette and it was one of the first sort of palettes that I bought um, that wasn't in the drugstore. And... I really, really enjoy it. So, I am going to use this one. I have prepped my eyes. Um, oh, what am I doing? I'll just take it off. So, I have prepped. And um, I'm going to use the peach, this lovely peach in the crease. Um, the reason I think these palettes are really good is because they're made by people who are sort of, people who enjoy makeup. So, um, that's why I think they're pretty good. So, I'm just going to use the peach in the crease first. I know I normally put a cream down but I wanted to put the peach down first. Lovely very highly pigmented shadows that are you know a, a real dream to work with. I love these palettes and I don't use them a lot anymore but I do love them. Right there is a matte cream colour I'm just going to use that. My eyes look slightly red today because I've been plucking my eyebrows. My eyebrows are so thick that um, they hurt so much when I pluck them. They're so such thick. They're really thick brow. Like the actual each hair is brow, but there's not many of them. So if I over pluck, it's very obvious because there's little gaps. So you know that's the issue with my brows. They're very very thick. They're like pubic hairs. I probably shouldn't say that, should I? But they are. Got pubes on my face. Oh my God, I'm putting this out there. What am I doing? I'm having a, a right stupid day. Right, so I've put the cream and now I'm going to take that sort of rose cold colour and I am going to use the other one because obviously that is much um, easier to use. The other one, there's just too much at the edge to use. So you do have to sort of swipe your brush a bit more. It's like a real metallic colour. And you'll see when I put it on my eyes what I mean. It's almost metally. Can you see like how metallic that is? But that's what I love about this. I find it really nice to use. I think it is the most gorgeous colour Look, even when I pull my eye across, just look at that colour on the eyes. It's just a nice finish. I really love it. And then I'm going to do the other side. I just, I love this so much. They are, I mean, they're not easy. They're quite blendable but they're not easy to get the product but I don't mind that I don't mind if I'm brushing quite a lot to do that the peach works so well with that doesn't it just ha look at how gorgeous that is when I take it over the eye I just love it I love that 
Now, I'm going to use the other one now because it's still got some to use. And I'm going to take the um, cranberry colour and use that on the outer edge. Just put it on top of the other. Again, really metallic. Just so easy to get a really nice finish from it. They're not just shimmery, they are metallic, definitely. And that's, I mean, this is so typical of what, this is called the Courtney's Car Dazzle. Courtney's car dazzle and so this is the third the other one of the other sisters not the Kim and not the Chloe I've got the Chloe Kim is much more cool toned blues greys um and the Chloe is very neutral very very neutral I have the I do have that one and I may do a look with it I might do I might do another bonus one if anybody wants to see it um whoops because I don't often so that is that on there. Oh my goodness, I'm having a right dozy day today. Perfect. And I'm just gonna take this gold here and I'm gonna put, it's so soft, this gold. I'm just gonna place that down the center. Just down the center of what I've just done. And the same here. I just want to sort of make it a bit more, I don't know, um, I think they really go, the colours have been really well thought out because they do go with each other. So that's that. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's just so beautiful. And then I'm going to take this brush again and I'm going to take this, this colour here the fawny camel colour and I'm going to just deepen up the crease with that and the same here I like that it gives you four mattes and four shimmers I think that's a really um, good touch you know they've really thought about this it's a shame there's not a dark matte color but this dark color is pretty good so i'm going to take my very thin liner brush and just dab that in there and i'm going to take that under this part of the eye and then again just in the in the top corner here <laughs> I can hear the uh, subscriber who told me about tapping it to screaming at the uh, at the sc screaming at the screen. There you go, just a soft outline on the V. Now, taking that same brush, just wiping it down, and I'm going to take the goldy, uh, that sorry, the rose goldy colour. Oh, I've just broken up the rest of the old stuff. And I'm going to put that on the kind of inner corner and towards the middle of the eye. I used to always do my eyes like this, always put the brighter colour sort of in the corner and underneath. And then I used to get the dark colour and put it there. I used to think it made my eyes look bigger. And hopefully it does a little bit. So that's the eyeshadow done. Um, and then I'm going to take this amazing highlighter and vettel with a lot of precision and a clean brush, which I've just cleaned off on there. Um, I'm going to take some of this and put it at the top of my brow bone here, just defining that slightly and the same here there we go and 
and I'm actually going to take that same highlight and just pop it on the top of my lip there that on my cupid's bow and just to sort of be um <clears throat> Kardashian-esque I will be using a nude lipstick I'm going to use this bourgeois volume one second mascara first just to finish off the look I pull the weirdest faces don't I sorry everyone and Side. Oh, that's better. So today's been quite um, a good day. We went and delivered our Avon books, and um, we uh, it's been quite cold though. I don't know whether everyone anyone's noticed that. So I've got this jumper on. And I've got a vest on as well. Um, it's been really cold lately and, and I've just not really been enjoying that at all. In fact, it's nearly time to have the heating on. I'm using the Essence Nude Lipstick in 03 Come Naturally and it's like a greige. like so so there you have it it is my chloe's i'm going to use the newer one because it looks nicer on camera um chroma beauty courtney it's not chloe's courtney cardazzle there you go it doesn't open out fully unfortunately um palette <laughs> for palette over day 18 let me know what you think. Have you got one of these? Do you like it? Do you use it? Um, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear them. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Oh, and thank you so much to everybody who's commenting and mentioning Palettoba. It really means a lot to me. Um, I'm going to be filming now my Q&A uh, for my 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and I'm really excited about doing that. There's so many questions. So thank you so much for joining me. Comment down below if you like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already so you can get your daily dose of Leah and um, yeah give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying it take care